Hi everybody, this is Kefren, your favorite French Canadian. Today I'm going to show you how to boost your FPS in Escape from Tarkov, the arena mode. We're going to start by optimizing Windows and after that we'll go inside of the game. So now the best setting for Windows for gaming. So first of all, we're going to search for game mode in the search bar. Make sure that game mode is activated for the past like year. It's pretty good. Uh, you're getting a decent performance and you're going to make sure that all your resources are focused on the game that you're playing. For the Xbox game bar, I still recommend to deactivate this one, causing stuttering, crashing in some games. So I'm not a huge fan of the Xbox game bar. And for the capture, make sure that the background recording is at off and also the, record, uh, the recorded audio is at off. Another thing that I recommend, it's the hardware accelerated GPU scheduling. Make sure that you're searching for graphic setting. You will need an NVIDIA card, 1000 series or more recent. It will really help with bottleneck. So if you have a 1050, 1050 Ti, 1060, even the 2060, you can expect a nice 2 to 5% boost. And also you can expect like less stuttering when you're using that. So I re really recommend to use that. Another thing that is really important, it's your driver. Make sure that you have the latest driver from AMD, NVIDIA, even Intel, if you have an iGPU on your processor. Um, so for example, here with AMD, you just click check for update and it's gonna show you if you have the latest one. You can do the same thing with NVIDIA. Another thing that I can recommend with the um, NVIDIA and AMD, they have uh, an image scaling uh, for the past like a couple of months. Um, for from AMD, it's called Super Resolution, and for Nvidia, it's NIS. I have dedicated video to, who's gonna like show you how to use that and how to configure it. But to explain you quickly what it's about, uh, so you need to enable this. So for example, I'm playing uh, in 2K because my monitor in, is in 2K. I'm going inside of my game. I lower the resolution at 1080p, and the software will scale it back at 2K. And with this process, I can save like 15, 20% in my FPS. Also, you can do it if you have like a 4K monitor and you want to do 1080p or 2K. Uh, you can expect a nice boost. The image quality will not be the same if you compare with native, but in some game it's working very well and you it's very tough to see the difference. So I, I recommend to, to use it if you're struggling with your FPS. So if you have an NVIDIA card, just go on your NVIDIA setting, go to control panel, open it, go to manage 3D setting and just use pretty much the setting that I'm currently using. Honestly, they're pretty much default. So the first one that you need to change is your low latency mode. If you have this technology, make sure that it's at on. The other one is your if you want to lock your FPS. Uh, for an example, you have like a 170 Hertz monitor and you want to stay in your G-Sync ring. Uh, range sorry you just put your uh, FPS here at like something like 167 something like that you want to be under 170 Hertz to always stay in your G-Sync range so if you want to do that it will do that for all your game it's a global setting over there so I'm gonna unlock it and this is pretty much it if you have access to the change ECC state I recommend to uncheck it this will slow your VRAM so you don't want to use that for change resolution, make sure that you're playing native. So you're, if you have a 2K monitor, go with 2K. If you have a 1080p monitor, go with 1080p. And super important, look at your refresh rate. A lot of people are missing this step. They buy like a new screen and by default it's at 60. So use the uh, maximum refresh rate that is available on your uh, monitor. The last parameter will be your G-Sync. So I recommend if you want to use G-Sync, I recommend to, first of all, you need to enable it. And I recommend to use the enable for window and full screen. So if you're playing a game like in borderless mode, it will be applied. Also, you can select just one uh, display screen, depending on whatever. If, if your second screen is not compatible with G-Sync, you will just push it to one monitor. Uh, me, I'm not using it. I have a 4090 uh, for my GPU, so I just want to unlock my FPS. So in majority of the game, I'm getting like 250 FPS and um, my monitor refresh rate is at 170 Hertz. So I just want to lower my input lag. So that's why I just unlock everything, but it really depends on your situation. So this is pretty much it for NVIDIA. Another thing that I recommend, it's your energy profile. So write energy in your search bar, go to power option. Make sure that you're running something like balance or high performance. Um, on a de desktop computer, it should not be an issue. But if you're playing on a laptop, 
really make sure that you're using that or a special profile for performance uh, from your brand like Asus, Dell or whatever. The thing is sometimes when you plug your uh, PC in the wall, unplug using it with the battery, sometimes it stay at power saver and you don't want to use that when you're playing a game. So super important to be plugged in and also uh, to use a proper uh, performance profile. Another thing that I can recommend, it's the Intelligent Standby List Cleaner. This is a software made by the guy from DDU. Um, it's, it's pretty amazing, honestly. Um, it will help if you don't have a lot of RAM in your PC. So if you have 4 gig of RAM, 8 gig, 12 gig, uh, after that, you should be fine. Windows is doing the job properly. So it will free memory and it's going to make sure that it optimize your standby list. So what I recommend normally, it's look at your total memory here. In my case, it's 32. Just divide it by 2. So for me, it's 16. Just press start and it will run automatically. And you just lower the software like that and you're going to make sure it's optimized so it's a really good software and also it helps a little bit with uh, stuttering so i really recommend to use that one last thing is um i have dedicated video on my channel about overclocking cpu overclocking gpu depending on your brand and stuff and it's pretty good because it there are basic overclocking guide i don't touch voltage so it's pretty safe you can expect sometimes two percent ten percent boost in your fps depending on your thermal depending on your component but it's it's something that you need to look at too if you want to optimize your pc um, for the best performance so now let's go inside of the game so inside of the game so first of all the first one that you need to look at is your uh, use physical cores over there if you have more than six physical core on your cpu just google it i recommend to using it a lot of like all the news uh, CPUs are pr normally six, eight, even more physical cores. So super important to use that. After that, for the FUV, it's a question of preference. I like to play my game at 63. If you add more FUV, you're going to lose a little bit of FPS because you need to render more in front of you. So again, question of preference over there. Do some testing. For the ad bobbing, I recommend to go minimum over there. Uh, less like noise when you're playing. You don't want your ad bobbing like crazy when you're playing arena. So let's go with minimum. After that, for the graphics, screen resolution, play native, depending on your monitor. So for me, it's uh, 1440p. Don't lower your resolution over there. The game looks too blurry. Uh, for the screen mode, make sure that you're playing full screen. Aspect ratio, 16 by 9. Again, question of uh, of your monitor. So if you have a native monitor, 16 by 9, go 16 by 9. Normally, it's supposed to be fine over there. And make sure, of course, that you're using the proper monitor. After that, you have the texture quality. I recommend to go uh, with I if you have 4 gig and more of VRAM on your GPU. 3 gig medium and less than 3 gig go with low. Uh, it's not uh, it's not huge on your uh, on your VRAM this game, so you can definitely play at I if you have 4 gig of VRAM. For the shadow, I recommend to go with low. You can expect a nice 12 percent boost in your FPS over there. Uh, I know some people like to play medium, better details when you see like shadow of. Uh, of an opponent or something like that me i prefer fps and honestly it will help a lot the shadow at low so let's go with that lod quality i like to play at 2.5 uh it's a lot more smoother the, the transition between the uh, object uh, quality um but in arena honestly the map are not that big so if you're struggling with your fps definitely go with two over there if you're fine you look at your fps after the whole guide and it's still fine Go at 2.5. Overall, visibility is pretty huge also on your FPS. My recommendation is start at 1,500. Look at your FPS. If you're still struggling, go with 1,000. Me, I prefer to play at 2,000. But honestly, in Arena, it's not like Escape from Tarkov. Map are more smaller. And uh, honestly, at 1,500, you should be fine with that. After that, you have some uh, upscaling uh, technology uh, available, but I'm going to talk it uh, without it first. So if you don't have the DLSS and you don't want to use FSR, my recommendation is to play it off. I don't like anti aliasing in this game. I feel like it's really blurry. Uh, the TAAI, honestly, it's very, very blurry. If you don't like to play without an anti, without an, an anti aliasing, sorry, go with FXAA. Uh, you will gain uh, some FPS versus TAA. And honestly, the game is not that bad. It's not too blurry. It's a basic anti aliasing, but still, it's doing the job. And for the resampling, make sure that it's playing at 1x off. But. If you want performance 
FPS, you should definitely use the LSS or FSR. So if you have an RTX card, my recommendation is go with quality. Don't go lower than that, that the game looks too blurry. You can expect 15 to 20% boost in your FPS. So it's pretty huge. Uh, but if you want pure, pure, pure visibility, my recommendation is still just go with anti-aliasing without any uh, upscaling technique. But if you want FPS, go with the LSS. They update the, L the LSS version uh, from the, the one, uh, I think, a year ago. It's not the latest version, but still, it's doing the job. It's a lot better than before. And if you don't have the, the LSS card, go with FSR 2.2. Again, same concept, just use quality. Uh, below that, the game is too blurry. You can expect 12 to 14 uh, percent in your uh, boost in your FPS. So my recommendation is go with quality. And then inclusion, disactivate this. You can expect 6% boost over there. SSR off, you can expect 4% boost. Anisotropic filtering, you want to put this one at on. Uh, your texture will be a little bit more clear. Uh, NVIDIA reflects low latency. Definitely go with on if you can't use that, if you have the technology on your computer. Uh, I want to mention also, if you're not using the uh, FSR or the DLSS, make sure that you don't use VSync. Uh, it adds input lags in your game, so you don't want to use that. Uh, you can use other technology like FreeSync or G-Sync. It, it can do the job if you don't like your uh, tiering when you're playing the game. But uh, if you're using a DLSS or FSR, it will be unchecked like this. After that, this sharpness, it will not affect your FPS. It's a it's all about blurriness. So, for an example, you're using uh, the FSR 2.2 and you feel like it's too much blurry. Add a little bit of sharpness. It will help. I like to play DLSS at 0.7 and uh, it looks fine, honestly. After that, uh, make sure that your uh, FPS is unlimited. Your lobby, I just played 60. It's, it's good like that. And uncheck everything else. Uh, you will gain another 6% in your FPS over, that, over there. Um... And also, it's a lot better for visibility. Arena, it's a PvP game. You want visibility, you want FPS. So this is pretty much the best parameter to play that. If you have any questions, guys, just comment in the YouTube section. Post me your rig, CPU, GPU, and RAM. I will try to help you the best that I can. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Peace.